Creative Creations. Today we're going to show you our amazing Tonic and Nuvo product mm -hmm. and a lot of demos yes. and some fun product at the end. So watch out. All right, guys, first I'm going to show you the Nuvo Expanding Mousse. This is an awesome product that you need in your craft room. So it's a medium that is thick, but it also can be made to be thin. What I did was just messed it with my spatula. You'll see. So the color I'm using for my Nuvo Expanding Mousse is white linen because it's cream, but kind of white at the same time. And it's a little bit shimmery. That's a bonus. So I have two stencils right here. This one on the left, I've already started to put a little bit of the Expanding Mousse over in this region. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm doing this on my other side here, and we're gonna show you different things. So first, I like to put some on my craft mat. I'm kinda of gonna move it around just to make sure it loosens and it becomes easy to work with. I'll scrape it up with my spatula, and then I'll start putting it on. Now, if I was gonna do this for the prop, for you know, a project to send someone, I'd probably make sure I washi taped off these other sides also. So there wasn't any on those sides, but we're just showing a demo, so it's not that important that some gets over there. So that's totally fine. So I'm just moving it around. And the nice thing about that, it, it's, it is thick, but like I said, I was able to make it thin enough to work with this stencil, and that's such the rave right now. Now, I also don't have to worry about being completely smooth with this expanding mousse, because what's awesome about this is when I heat it to have it expand, you want to have that texture. So I'm even going to go back on my white one and I'm gonna do like this. I'm just gonna hit it with my spatula a little bit while I'm holding down my stencil still so it doesn't move, just to give some bumps in crazy places. That will be more 3D in those areas that I just tap to give those bumps. So that's an awesome little tip there. So I did spread this around pretty good. Now when you heat this, it's gonna expand and puff up. That's super cool. Now over here, I wanna do something different. I wanna give it some, some color, cause it's white, which is like a base color that we can add to. I've got shimmer powders. Look at all these fun colors that I can add to my, um, my stencil. And so these are shimmer powders. I have so many more colors, I don't have enough fingers. <laughs> and what I'm gonna use here, I'm gonna use my Lilac Waterfall. That's probably my favorite one to work with. It's basically color in a bottle. So I'll take my lid off here and it's got a nice little nozzle. Now I'm not gonna squeeze, I'm gonna tap. So I'm gonna tap right over on my right side stencil. And this is something definitely easy to play with. Now I'm not gonna do too much because you don't want the color to overpower the mousse here. Otherwise it's all blue. So I'm gonna move it around with my spatula just to mix in the color a little bit. Now I don't wanna move it around too much cause I'll see it will start to turn, all turn to one color. So already we have a really cool, pretty color going on right here in this area compared to just being white and that's different. So from here, I could have kept playing. If I wanted a lighter color, I could have gone back with the expanding mousse and added more to fade out the color, or I could have added other colors. I could go back with my violet brocade, which is a different color, and add some of that in to get even a darker purple mixed in there. And I move that around. See how it became darker a little bit? All right, but not too much because we don't want it to be one unified color. I'm gonna lift up my stencils so that I can dry them. Now you just wanna be very careful about this part and always make sure you wash them off good. I'm gonna set that aside. And this really nice stencil gives a crisp design, the one I just happened to pick from our craft room. So you got our nice little petals here. We got a nice sunflower over there. Okay. So already it looks pretty good. You could let it dry and it's all good. It would stay as it is. Now if you want that expanding mousse texture, you're gonna have to hit it with the heat gun. So I'm gonna do them to hit it with the heat gun. It's first it's gonna dry and then it will expand. So what, let's watch and see what happens.
Now it's already started to dry and I see some puffing up over here. Let me show you what this can look like when it's done. See this, I would use a twirling circle dye from Tonic and I did the same kind of method here. I spread it out all over the color and you see the variation in color that I got. Over here I spread too much and got one uniform purple. So that's what I was talking about. But right here, you can see there are, it's starting to crackle and that's the, that is the mousse expanding and that's what you want. Even after this, even this one, even after it cools off a little bit, if I see areas that are heavier than others, I can go back with the heat gun again and it will puff up even more. So I'm gonna keep trying. There we go. I see the puffiness happening at the bottom because that's where I concentrated more. But if you just look, you see the difference between this purple side and the plain side, the crackling. And this side I did go back and hit with those with my spatula to get those three dimensional pieces. I didn't do that over here, I probably should have, but that was a good tip. I do wanna keep showing you though, the shimmer powder that I showed you that we worked with, how amazing this stuff works. I like to use this with cards to make a background. Here's an awesome demonstration that's real quick. So that violet broke, that not violet, the lilac waterfall that I used first, I'm just gonna do a couple taps of that one. And then here we have, uh, not lunar rock, oh, meteorite shower is a good one. Look at that color. Wait, where are you? Okay, there we go. Look at that color, that's such a pretty black and purples. I'm all over that one. Anything purple I'm into. And let's see what else we got. We've got, ooh, Atlantis Burst. Here's a fun green. Everyone likes a good green. And here we have Golden Sparkler. That is a really pretty shimmer powder. And the nice thing, just remember about the, what I say about the labels, they're gonna look exactly like it does on the label and that's such a bonus. So I'm gonna take my mini mister here, that's just a simple Ranger mini mister or any sprayer. And I'm gonna shoot at the powders from any type of angle to see where they explode. Cause already you see that color over there, it's bursting out the more I hit it. And if I was working on a background for a card, I would move it around and watch it work around the paper. So I'm just gonna hit the other ones. Oh man, that one was real cool. Let's see that one. So the powder on that one was like a gold and you got all these other colors with it. And the green, oh that's such a pretty green. You've got green and light green and yellow in there. So these are such fun things to go back at. Even when, um, so I did the powder first and you can do the, and I did the water after. You can get a different result if you do the water and then the powder. So try that at home with your shimmer powders. If you don't have them, we have them online. But definitely these are so something to play with. I could even layer up on my powders. So check these out. The crackle mousse, it's just like the expanding mousse except it has cracking in it. So if you look at my example right here, you can kind of see there's cracks in those stars a little bit. So if you think of like the Sahara Desert, any kind of desert, the sand cracks or the mud cracks, and that's what this effect is. So they're really kind of pastel color. So see this really pretty blue? So I'm just gonna kind of show you what the consistency looks like. It's very smooth. And if I go on the bottom of my paper, that's kind of your consistency. Now, depending on how thick or thin you do over your stencil, that's gonna depend on the dry time. So these little stars right here, they're pretty thin. It took about 20 minutes for it to dry. You don't want to use a heat gun on it. You just want to uh, let air dry. And so if it's really thick like this, it's going to take probably a couple hours because it's going to take longer to dry. All right, so now we have our precision bl blending brushes. So these are the Nuvo blending brushes. They are very, very good for getting that beautiful blending with your ink. So I have some Distress Oxide here. I think I'm going with this purple. You just want to kind of rub it in there, get some color on there and then go over your stencil and just add color wherever you want. And you can see how vibrant it is. And so I'm just gonna add some color here and there. I just wanna make sure to hold it down. And then I have my cloth over here, my microfiber cloth. I'm just gonna run that over real quick. And then we're gonna do this other purple. Oops. And again, we're just adding some color, some places. You, you can do a swipe or you can do a swirl. It just depends on how you want to do it. I get some on that corner over there. All right, looking good. And then we're gonna go in with our blue. Again, you wanna wipe down so you're not mixing your colors. Oops. Now we're gonna get our blue and just fill in those blank spots. 
again, we're going to be blending between them. And I kind of want to create a tie-dye cloud look, so that's what we're kind of going for. We're going to pull up our stencil, and we have our tie-dye blue and purple look. So that's that. I was cleaning it with our Pink and Main Scrub It Clean Microfiber Towelettes. There's two in a package, and they're very good for cleaning your brushes just like this. They also are machine washable. Here is the two pack that I got my brush from. It's $14.99, but there are also another pack of four packs. I have smaller detail brushes. All right, this is our Glacier Paste. So it's lots of fun colors you can see here that are very fun to work with. There's lots more too, but I'm gonna show you the pink, which is actually called Mambo Melon. That's super fun. So if you open the jar, it kind of looks like the other, other mediums, but this one I find much thinner. So you could almost say it's like jelly, how smooth it plays with over here. I'm just gonna use a stencil again just to show you. That's the easiest way. And I'll go in right here on the side and just start swiping. You can already see some of the glitter here um, as I'm working with it. See, it's already shimmery. So I'm just gonna finish up a little bit of this section and I'm still trying to scrape off some excess. And then I'm gonna lift this up. So I'm scraping off my excess just with the side of the bra the, the, the tool, Stop. yes. And I'm gonna lift this up and look how pretty this is up close. This is so shimmery, I am loving it, the Glacier Paste. So that's a great addition to your mediums and your scrapbooks is the Glacier Paste. All right, right here I've got my Mica Mist. Now these are fun background sprays, so I'm just gonna show you based on the white background and the black background that you do get different looks. So with the blue, look at that go. You've got fun blue over here, and it seems to be extra bright on the black as well. I've got a fun pink here. This is the Turkish Rose. So if I spray that one on the white and on the black, it shows up a little more metallic-y over here on the black, and that's very nice. And let's see, fresh pear. I've got, so this is good for just a background look. That one came in nice. And then I've got um, Violet Luster. If you want a background spray that's not too overwhelming, if I hold it up close, I'm gonna get a very concentrated look. If I do it far away, then you're getting it like a mist. So that's why it's called Mica Mist. You're getting an overall spray. That's very fun. So these are the very sparkly sparkle spray. So we just showed the Mica Mist. You can see the difference in the bottle. Even though these are bigger, um, the smaller ones have a lot more sparkle to them. So I'm gonna show you this one right here. This one is Amethyst Shimmer. So we're gonna go right over to our white paper. And we're gonna spray. Now already you can see how much more vibrant that is. And we'll spray on the black too and you can see all that glitter that is in those. Very, very pretty. So that's Amethyst Shimmer. Now we're gonna go in with our blue, which is called Marine Mist. I'm gonna scoop my paper up here. We're gonna spray that, and then spray like that. Very pretty, and these show up on both the white and the black. So we have our Lavender Lining, that's the one I just sprayed over here, and we're gonna spray it over here. Very, very nice. And then we'll do our last one, Apple Spritzer. We're gonna spray that like that and spray it like that. Very, very pretty color. All right, next we have our Dream Drops. Now these are very iridescent colors. We have three colors here, but I believe there's about six or seven of them. Now you can see our very 3D dots right here. These are self-leveling um, drops that will bubble up and keep their shape as they dry. So you can see I have some pretty big dots here, which take a while, which take, will take a while to dry. But you can also do little tiny drops, and they keep their perfect ball shape. And if you make it kind of wonky, it will go and it will self-level back into that perfect pearl ball. Very pretty. Right here is our glitter marker. So you see they come in packages of threes or singles. And there's even a little um, feel-good thing on the back that shows you what it looks like when it's dry. So that's awesome. I did start to trace over a word here. I've got memories. And as it dries, you will feel that same texture, but it's very sparkly. That was with the Athenian blue color. And that also does come singly. I'm also gonna work here and just show you how I did that with my wild mulberry. So you do have to push down on the nozzle to get it started, but just starting from one end, if I go over the S, you can see that already is making it very pretty. And I'm going to do the E. And you've already got a chipboard color that is 
vibrant and it has a fun color and it's very shimmery. Okay, so lastly we have our Clear Nuvo container for our glitter drops. This is a very cute holder. You can see I have all mine lined up here. So let's say if you were down to the last bit of your glitter drop, it will um, levelly bring it down to the tip so it's easier to squeeze that out. And these can also stack if you have several more of these. They can also stack on top of each other and be sorted out very nicely. All right, here are some fun new diamond knots that just came in, so they are new on the website. I've got Love You to the Moon and Back. That's a cute little bunny with a balloon, and it says it right here, so that is cute. These are all easy sizes to work with for any age also. Here's Let's Play. That's a cute bear with a hat. Here is Ballet Bear. So it's a ballet bear, super cute. There's little flowers down there. Rainbow feathers, I really like this hummingbird because it's got the rainbow colors on it and it's not full body, so that's nice, cute beak. I Spy Kitty, it's a cute little cat in addition to our midnight cat we already have and there's a cute little bow on her. I've got Magnolias on gold velvet, that's very pretty, oh, guess this way, very pretty flowers there. I've got Rose Blush, that is a medium size, it's a little bit bigger. That's still a very pretty flower. Here's Mr. and Mrs. Pink. So those are two cats. Um, she's got flowers on her head and he's got a little tie there. That's super funny, I like that. Sweet raccoon, raccoons, there are two little, I think it's a mom and a baby raccoon. Those are for animal lovers. I've got kitty knits. Oh, look at that. A whole little family of kittens, that's super cute. Koi mosaic, these are our fish, the koi fish. Oh, I guess I was putting it wrong anyways. <laughs> That's super pretty. Country rooster, I know I had a lot of requests for roosters here, that is super cute. And you've got the farm in the background. The Celtic wolf guide, he is very majestic, just like our mystic wolf, but you do get to see um, a lot more embellishment on the outside of this one. Here is a poppy field by Monet very nice here is a london parliament in winter that is another famous painting here is a tiger smooch this is much like another one that we've had before very nice i like the two tigers and there's the orange and the white spring sparkle oh that's very nice it's just like a riviera one very pretty, and this is a larger one, so you even got like this house back here and some cherry blossom trees. And I see our winter wonderland. That is very pretty. You got some houses here in the background and some Christmas, and there's a little snowman down here in the front with some snow here at the bottom. I've also got some brand new smaller ones that have the frame. So these are packaged a little differently, but they do include a little frame. They're still um, three by three, so they're little starter kits. Um, and cute for kids, it's a little tiger. He's called Lion, <laughs> it's a tiger, but it's a lion. And here's a frog, and here is a crab. So those are super cute new ones that are on the website, and they're so fun for kids. I also wanna show you our light board. So if you work on the diamond knots, and sometimes you have a little trouble seeing them, our dots light is upside down. <laughs> our dots light here works best because it's got a mesh system in front that's not going to hurt your eyes and it's very portable and very light. So you just hold it like this, very easy to use. You just touch the little power button for three different settings and you can just put it anywhere. It's super portable and it is $29.99 and you can even use your coupon code virtual online. All right. We're going to wrap up here with our Stamperia, very pretty paper. I've also got the pre-orders on available. We also have some graphic, which includes our new ocean blue and our new fairy wings. Those are also on our website. So don't forget to use your coupon code virtual and find us online. Have a great afternoon. Thank you.